Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. You know this uh, Retroid Pocket handheld player that I got for Christmas that I love so much? I really, really like it, but the case that I've been carrying for it ain't great. This is an old used uh, 3DS XL case, which has been fine. You know, it's got spaces for the old 3DS uh, cartridges and that, and the, the Retroid does sort of fit in there. I had to jury rig a little styrofoam spacer there because otherwise it was it was just a little loose there and i was finding recently i'm not popping it out of this thing as often as i used to because of the the straps and you know it's a little bit a little bit finicky to deal with all that stuff the big killer though was for me i was noticing Anytime I was closing this thing, having taken that out, I was noticing this black gunge on my hands. And the reason for that is, I think, because this thing is getting pressed and pushed a lot, this part of the 3DS case is getting crushed. Like, you can actually see, it's got a little indentation there. And as a result, I think there's like this black stuff. Now, I, I've gone through and like wiped and I put, a, I put a vacuum cleaner head on this thing to keep that dust down. And that sort of kept it going for a while very nicely. But I just thought, you know, this is, this is a bit of a grungy device and it's making me not play the Retroid as often as I used to. However, now that there is a Retroid Pocket 2S out there, um, the folks that make it at Retroid also made this, which is a ca carrying case for it. So, although this is made for the uh, 2S, the Retroid Pocket 2S, not the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus, I asked online, I was like, uh, does anyone know if this carrying case will work for the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus? And people have said, yes, it will. So let's open it up. I got one. Let's see if this thing is going to fit. Yeah, there's no uh, identifier. I hope this is the carrying case. Yes. The, the Pocket 2S bag. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. I don't know if you can make that out. Can you see that in the light? Yeah. It's got the design of the 2S, which is, you know, basically the same as the 2 Plus. The difference being on the 2 Plus, you got the D-pad down here. You got the thumbstick up there. On the 2S, they put thumbsticks down here and the D-pad up there. So it's it's a slightly different design and inside I think they've got indentation so I'm worried my big concern with all of this is given that the thumbstick is there instead of down there can you make it on the light kind of yeah so this has d-pad up here thumbstick down there the actual 2 plus has a thumbstick up there and the d-pad down there so is that going to break is that going to get mushed Otherwise, I'm thinking I really quite like this because in size comparison, it's let me get out. It's smaller and shorter. It's it's a more compact case. It feels nice too. Let's um, let's see inside. Oh yeah, there we go. So it's got a little flap. Another thing that I quite like, I won't have to be like messing around with little styrofoam doomahickeys to, to hold this thing in place. I think this would be okay. Yeah, very nice material. Very, very good. So with no further ado, let's just see. Will it fit in here? Oh yeah, yeah. That is nicely sitting in there and the flap will cover the screen but the big question uh one on my mind thumbstick and d-pad d-pad and thumbstick is that going to cause any kind of problem no no it won't actually because if i zip it up actually it's in there pretty snug too yeah that feels really good actually I'm liking that. And now I can just pop it right out. And yeah, there is no, there's, I, I can't really measure it for you, but to my eye, I can see that between the thumbstick here and the indentation of the D-pad there is just enough. There's probably like a fraction of a centimeter, maybe... Yeah, but I that's there's no way that's going to push that down. Is it? 
No, I think we're safe. I think we're good. I mean, this stuff on this side, we're A-OK -okay because we got a slider and some uh, buttons. So there's no way they're going to get anywhere close. I was just worried about the thumbstick coming in contact with this part, but that's going to be fine. And I like the fact the flap is just going to cover that because there are times with this thing, I'll be, you know, on walking around doing my thing and uh, my podcast has come to an end. This this is, after all, an Android device. So it has, uh, you know, Google uh, podcasts right here. And there'll be times I've reached the end of a show and I want to just open it up and change to another one or fast forward through an ad or something like that. And uh, I have to like with this thing, I got to fumble it around. I got to get the flap out of the way. I got to move these rubber bands and stuff. And again, I'm getting gunge on my hand. Now, with this thing, I just pop it open. And that little flap moves as you pop it open. Boom, get in there, change to another show, and then close it up. And away I go. This is fantastic. Yeah, this is very, very good. I like this. Kudos. So now, uh, basically, I'm just going to take it for a test spin to work, and I will report back. Okay, well, it's been about a week now, over the, over a week, and I've been putting this thing through its paces. I really, really like this case. Uh, the Retroid Pocket 2 fits there very nicely, no problem at all with the uh, thumbstick. I'll show you that in a second. That's why Atari's sitting there. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it's very, very good. Very, very solid. I like the fact that it's a bit smaller than uh, what I've been using, and so therefore it fits a little better into some of the pockets. Uh, I does have some weird characteristics that I don't know I'm thrilled about. For example, uh, the main thing that I'm not on board about is if I need to get in here and quickly turn something on or adjust the volume or change to another podcast, it does take a bit. I have to kind of, I have to lean this thing forward, hit the power button or the volume or whatever. Like it's, it, it is snugly in there, but uh, the downside is if I need to like turn it on or off and I just want to hit that power button, I got to lean the thing forward. Like I got to actually rock it out of the case in order to get to some of these things. So that's not ideal. It's great for this kind of stuff. It's great for the, uh, oh, it's out of a start. It's done in a track mode there. Uh, but it's it's great for a lot of these like um, easy access. If I need to change to another podcast, I just need to hit the button. Uh, anything on the screen, no problem. But like if I've been listening to a podcast, it's in sleep mode, right? So the screen isn't on. So I got to reach forward, tap the power button, and then it comes, it wakes up, and then I can do stuff. So eh, I'm not thrilled about that. And sort of similar to that is the fact that um, occasionally I use this device as a way to record my lavalier microphone because I've got this little USB connector here. The lav goes into there. This goes into the Retroid and I can record, you know, if I'm standing very far away from the camera, you can hear me clear as a bell because I've got a lav on. I'm going to set this guy there. The downside is that this thing is a little bit, it, it sticks out a bit. Now, on my previous 3DS case, that was not a big deal. I could quite easily stick the cable there. But now, as you can see, it's, it's, now it's jammed. Like, it's, it's actually not clearing that. So, and I can't close it. So, this now makes this a little bit of a trickier a trickier setup. I think what I'll do, scenarios where I'm going to be using the lav mic and I want to record onto this thing, I'll just... Maybe... Hmm... Maybe I can find... No, see, I don't really... I don't really want to stress that. Can I... Can I give it a little bit of a zip? I really don't want to... No, no, you see, it's gonna... It's not gonna work. So, what I gotta do then is definitely, for those scenarios, I'm gonna have to put this thing back in the 3DS case in order to to use this because the the hookup for the lav needs that USB-C to go into the USB-C holder and that just ain't going to work with this setup. Now, uh, case in point, like I say, this has gone into sleep mode. If I was, you know, traveling around and now I need to change my uh, podcast details, go to the next track or whatever, I got to flip this thing open, I got to tilt it forward and hit the power button in order to bring it back to, to life. So that's not great. I'm not thrilled about that. 
Um, but you know, it's, it goes with the territory, right? I, I kind of like that. Another thing to do with audio that I do really, really like about this thing is it seems to have better reception for these Hesh mic uh, headphones that I've got, these Bluetooth things. I've mentioned how the previous uh, setup that I had, if I tilted my head to a certain angle, I would, the podcast or whatever I'm listening to would cut out, but this material... I guess because it's thinner or something, those micro those headphones are perfectly fine. I don't seem to have the same reception trouble I had before. So that's really, really cool. And I guess um, the final thing is, let me just show you, I will prove that the D-pad or the thumbsticks have had no negative repercussions. I'm just going to fire up a game here. So yeah, here's a game of uh, Black Widow. You can see the thumbstick on this side, A-OK, -okay, no problems at all. And my thumbstick here, A-OK -okay as well, no problems at all. So definitely the concern that I had that this thing might get a little bit squished or pressed up against the uh, undercarriage over the, you know, these things being in the wrong position, no problem at all. This thing works great. So really really love the retroid pocket 2s case it definitely works on the retroid pocket 2 plus so and i've got almost nothing bad to say about it with a slight exception if you want to hook up any accessories they're a little bit tricky to deal with but other than that this thing is fantastic i love it um yeah i think at that point i'll, I'll put a link below if you're uh, wanting if you're in the market for one of these things i'll show you where i got mine from directly from the retroid uh, company and uh, until next time we'll see you down the rabbit hole